Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to let you know that there was a request to update my world date and time tutorial to allow for custom uh, length of days, years, months, things like that. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know the additional features that this code now has. Um, you are able to input, as we can see here, this is a custom struct, which will let you set the um, minutes, hours, days, and month so the cycle that your calendar is going to run on, you can do that right here. So right now I have it set to 16 hour days and five days per month. The seconds and minutes are both at 60. You can also have custom names for your months. Um, you can just add as many elements as you want to this array here and give them whatever name. I just name them by the seasons here, spring, summer, fall, winter. There's also a daylight setting. So this is going to output a float between 0 and 360 here. Um, I have it set to 180 because I think that's probably most ideal for sunrise and sunset. You start at 0 degrees and you go all the way across to 180 degrees, but you guys can set it anywhere between 0 and 360. And daylight start is the time of day that you want the sun to start rising. So here we have it set at 5 in the morning. And hours of daylight is how, how long you want your day to be. So I have it for another five hours. So basically at 10 in the morning, um, the sun will be completely set. And then down here is just when you want your day to actually start. So if you have a saved time, you know, at so many seconds, minutes, hours, days, whatever, um, that's what this these values will be. So I have mine starting on day five of the third indexed month, which is actually going to be winter here in the year 1000. And from here, you guys can see from the Earth time component, there's now a float that you can pull out called sun degrees. And that's what's going to tell you um, <clears throat> how far along the sun is on its path. So halfway through your day, it'll be at 90 degrees um, if you have it between 0 and 180. There's also two additional or there's now two save modes. One is for a custom date and one is for a standard calendar date. And those can both be plugged directly back into the main function. So if you save a time, you know, to your game instance or whatever, you go to another level, you want to start at the exact same time of day, you can just plug that right back in. And there's now a feature to reset the clock. Um, so if you want to whatever time of day it is and you just want it to start over at 0000, you can just call this function. Everything else will stay the same and the um, time will just go back to zero. So I'm going to show you guys how this works a little bit. Um, if you want to use a custom calendar, it's only ever going to use one of these two, either standard or this chaos calendar, that's the custom one. And that just depends on whether or not you check this boolean here. So we're going to use our custom calendar. And I will just show you guys. This is printing off the string. And you see we're starting. Um, this first zero here is the sun. So the sun position is at zero. We're at, um, basically, this is the first hour of winter, day five in the year 1000. And as you see, once we got to five in the morning, now that zero started um, changing. And this is where the sun position is now and it will finish at 180 degrees when we hit 10 o'clock. So now we're about 10 o'clock, this would have been 180, and you see it restarts, which indicates that we're now at nighttime. And our days are going to be 16 hours. So if you look here, now it's gone from winter, day five, the year 1000, to spring, day one, in the year 1001, after 16 hours have passed. Alright guys, I hope you thought that was helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later.